on this episode of Marshall and Amy. And today we are heading to the ancient city of Bruges. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I would totally recommend it. Very quaint, very romantic. <laughs> it's hailing or snowballing or something. <laughs> Adam today and today we are heading to the ancient city of Bruges going to hop on a train right now about an hour train ride and we will be there Bruges is one of the cities here in this part of the world that really wasn't touched by the war so there's you know all the buildings there are ancient they're original nothing was knocked down or scarred by any bombing so it's kind of like going back in time a little bit and I think it has the nickname of the Venice of the North it does it's a medieval city and I've been there before nine years ago. It's very beautiful, lots of tiny little canals. It's really cold here today. It's actually supposed to snow tonight. So, be a romantic wintry trip to Bruges today. Like Amy said, it's gonna be cold today, but we've never been people to shy away from cold. We actually kind of like it. So we don't think it'll be too bad. We bundled up and we're gonna go enjoy Bruges. on a train the LED signs in the train are broken so we hope this is the right one this one's like a minute early so hopefully this is the right one <laughs> we'll see we'll quickly see Outside. It's industrious like any city and we gotta walk into the center where all the old buildings and beautiful parts are. We are at Shea Albert, which is a little waffle place here in Bruges and we're starving so we're like, let's just get a waffle, tide <laughs> us over. All right, got our waffles. I got milk chocolate on mine, and we got whipped cream on hers. Mm. We're gonna enjoy them. Look at this beauty. Little Belgian flag. That waffle did not last long. I should've gotten dark chocolate though. The milk chocolate with like the sugar coating on the waffle, a little much, but still super delicious. That Belgian chocolate, it does live up to its name. Yes. If this is like what I remember from nine years ago and uh, I don't know, not really. I don't really remember it being like this, but we've only been in the city center for like 15 minutes, so we keep walking around and see what it's like. My, my dad loves Bruges. He talks about it all the time when he talks about his time in Europe. So we had to come here since we were in Belgium. Dave, we're here for you. Bruges kind of feels like someone took Siena in Venice and like oh, put them together. That is a great... Did it seem like that? Yeah, that is a great way of thinking about Bruges. If you have happened to have been to Venice and Siena, yeah. The architecture is like distinctly Belgian slash like Dutch though.
walking along the water and we found a like a city map of Bruges and we saw to one side that there were like these old windmills that you can go see so we turned off thought we went in the right direction but I'm starting to doubt we're going the right way because we have not come across a windmill in this oh oh my god <laughs> there it is <laughs> right there Yeah, very pretty. Wait, why do we always do this? We always do this. We stay in the big city and we never like it very much. And then we go to like a little town nearby and we're like, this is amazing. Every time. Lesson learned. <laughs> Again. Okay, so we were saying Bruges is known as the Venice of the North. You can see a lot of the canals here. And there's one big canal or river. I'm not really sure that goes all the way around it. And it almost like forms it into like an island. Almost an island. You can see there's land right there. But yeah, so cool. We're right here between all these windmills. And this is the train station we got off at. So, I mean, really, we probably walked across that in like 30, 40 minutes. That was not far at all. No. But like Amy said, without fail, the small cities, we always like them better every single time. We haven't tried any food here, but... Except for waffles, which were good. I would vote Venice because there's no cars. So you can really experience the canals and the That's tranquility. True. And if you're walking around at night, there aren't many tourists unless you go right on the Grand Canal. So I think for me, I would suggest Venice. But this is really cool here, for sure. Yeah, and I mean, the, the boats that are actually on the canals are just for tourists. There, I don't think there are any boats, at least that we've seen, that are just like, you know, delivering things or like personal boats right like there are in venice i mean but in venice you literally have to use boats because there are no cars so right but i think i'd vote venice but we really haven't experienced bruges that much and we're not gonna gonna get to we're only we only get one day here so yeah but still beautiful very like very quaint each building is different like they have like similar styles but then they have like different colors and like lots of different weather vanes and like different doors it's super cool so the wind is really picked up now temperature's still pretty cold and now it's like spitting on it's like misting kind of and it's freezing cold oh, sniffling snuffling can't believe how cold it is it looks really nice when you're like walking around but man it's like rain's walk rolling in and with those clouds came some like cold so we're kind of freezing now we're looking for a place to shelter and get get a beer to warm up Okay, so there's a really famous church in Bruges that claims it has this little piece of wool or like cotton that was dabbed on Jesus' blood. Apparently there's actual Jesus' blood in here. So we're gonna just go see what it looks like on the inside. I don't think we're gonna pay to see it, but pretty cool. Amy's dad has told us about this a couple times. So it's pretty cool to see the church. It's really beautiful it's right there. How warm the steps are here. It's this old. See a little divot? Okay, I was wrong. You don't have to pay to see it. You can just go up and um, 
and just see it when you go inside the chapel too. We didn't go up and, and see it because there was like a couple of people in line um, and we're also not practicing Catholics, so we didn't feel like maybe it was right. And the stained glass in there was so, so beautiful. Just like gorgeous. Like, like I can't, I don't know how they do it so intricately. Just beautiful. So even if you don't want to see the blood of Christ, you could just go in for the stained glass. Very colorful. Stained glass is so colorful. Mm -hmm. Very colorful. But now we went up, we saw the church, saw just a glimpse of, of Christ's blood from kind of far away. Um, and now it is full on raining, so we are quite happy we wore our rain gear, got the dry bag, so we're all good, but uh, yeah, now it's, it, it went from spitting on us to full on raining, so now we're going to try and find somewhere to go in and have a beer. As Amy and I say, there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate attire. Yeah. So we are dressed for this, we're all good, there's a naked mannequin right there. Although I'm learning quickly that I don't think my coat is very waterproof. Mine is like waterproof, bulletproof, windproof, sunproof, hailproof, meteorite proof, but I don't think it's as warm as Amy's. So we came into this bar called Monks. Uh, we were here earlier, they've got good cheap beer, some cheap wine. Uh, seems like a good little place. Come in, get dry, and have a drink. I was saying, I'm a little burnt out on beer. Belgian beer does not agree with me for some reason. Like, I'm a beer girl. I love beer, but I'm also a wine girl. And I'm gonna have wine right now. And I am, was just about to say, I'm getting very excited to go see my sister in Spain next week because we'll be back in the land of wine. And good beer. Spain has great beer. Mm -hmm. So, I'm very excited to go back to Spain. Amy ordered in French and it was super impressive, but she didn't specify the size of the beer. And I got the tiny, <laughs> I got a shot of Stella. That is the tiniest Stella I've ever seen in my life. That's my hand next to it. Then Amy got an absolute house pour. That was right. I haven't, like Stella, I haven't had Stella in a long time, so let's give it a try. Mm. But yeah, so we're listening to Little queen right now, drinking drinking a beer, hanging out. Between us, we had seven beers and a glass of wine, and all of that was just under 30 euro. So like, Monks, if you're in Bruges and you want a cheap drink, Monks is definitely the place to come. That is, by European standards, especially Western European standards, that is, that's about as cheap as it gets. So we're very happy, price was good, beers were good, and now we're getting ready to um, walk on back to the train and take it back to Brussels, where we gotta pack and get ready for tomorrow, but awesome experience here at Monks, great experience here in Bruges, super cool. If you're ever in Belgium, come to Bruges, it's great. The thing with Bruges is like you take every two steps there's just like a beautiful cute little alleyway that looks like a it looks like a little Christmas village you put up like miniature at home but the streets just look like that all the time. Alright so we just left Monks we're back out on the streets of Bruges we're getting ready to head to the train station and take the train back to Brussels and call it a day. It's been really fun. Bruges is beautiful. If you're in Belgium, you want to experience Belgium, you're on your way from Paris to Amsterdam maybe, and you have a stop over in Bruges, I would totally recommend it. Very quaint, very romantic, um, very like cool things to see. It's a photographer's paradise, so yep. yeah. It's even cool in the cold and the rain, so if you get a chance to come to Bruges, come to Bruges. What's happening? <laughs> it's hailing or snowballing or something. It hurts, I gotta get inside. This is like the craziest hail I've ever seen. <laughs> the rain turned into straight up just like ice balls. I don't know if you can see it hitting me, but oh my god. <laughs> Next time on Marshall and Amy. We are on our way to Madrid, Spain to see Amy's sister, Kate. We had a casualty. Amy, are you getting excited to see Kate? Yeah. We are officially back in España. We're in Spain. Oh my God. Hey guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.